Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and, um, sorry, <coughs> uh, this is going to be my review for Jujutsu Kaisen episodes 10 and 11. Uh, now we're getting into a bit of a sensitive subject here. For those of you who have been bullied in the past, or are being bullied now, or even have bullied people in the past, or are doing it now, e I don't know if you guys are going to get triggered by this, but if you're doing it, um, please stop, because it's not helping anybody, it's not helping you, it's not helping others, it's hurting people, and it's going to eventually come back and bite you in the butt. Just like I come back to bite these kids in the butt in episode 11. Oh, oh boy. Uh. Anyway. Um. Uh. Dang it. Where do I even start with these episodes? Uh, I don't remember the guy's name with the glasses. That's uh, been shadowing Itadori. The pa at least this episode. Last episode. Naname? If I'm wrong, please let me know. I'm probably got the name wrong. I apologize. But um, he ends up finding that spirit guy, the one who was all stitched up, after Junpei leaves, and works on trying to take this guy down because he could probably he can sense that this guy is is no normal curse. I'm willing to bet that he's kind of like the volcano guy, like he's an ancient curse or like a curse. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I don't remember what this guy is supposed to be. He's a curse of something. What? A curse involving humans, I guess? Human emotions? I don't I don't remember what it was. But anyway, he tries to fight this guy. And is having a rough time of it. Because this guy could just stitch himself back together. And while this is going on, Itadori and the other guy are trying to... They're telling Junpei because he was the one at the movie theater and thus they have to find out if this guy is actually connected to... Uh... What happened? And... Dang it. I don't remember what happened, but Itadori ended up blowing his cover and revealing himself and the dang spirit he had in the cage to Junpei. And Junpei saw it. So that means he can see this stuff, which means he's got at least some kind of awareness. Because normal people don't. Just like in uh, Blue Exorcist, where normal people can't see, uh, can't see demons. Anyway, um, he ends up meeting up with Junpei later. And talking with him and just getting to know the guy. And he actually ends up joining him and his mother at their place for dinner because his mother insisted on it because she thought that he was he was thought she thought that he was Junpei's friend and they end up bonding over a couple of things which makes next episode harder anyway uh he's not able to beat the guy but he does damage him by causing a bit of a collapse in the sewer that they're in. He does get injured, though, in the process. Though it's not a, li a life-threatening one. It's just like, like he got grazed on the side, essentially, or something. So, um, while this is going on, uh, the curse guy shows up at Junpei's house. And uses that same technique that he used on those bullies in the in the theater on the poor guy's mother. And this broke him. This broke Junpei. Badly. Because his mother was his only support at this point. The only person he actually cared about besides himself. If he even cared about himself at this point. And the curse guy gives him the ability to be able to use... I guess use cursed energy and he decides to go and take revenge on all the students at that school that bullied him essentially 
Or at least the main ones that bullied him. Because I'm assuming there was like a small group of them that did bully him. Well, Hidori finds this out and he heads there because he doesn't want to fight this guy. He wants to help him. He wants to help him with all this. And uh, that's actually how the episode ends is him busting in, thankfully, before Junpei can kill the guy. Or who knows what to do to him. Who knows what he'd do to him. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have any comments on these two episodes, feel free to leave them. If there was anything that I missed while I was watching the episodes, feel free to let me know because, you know, I always like hearing from you guys on that because you guys spot things that I probably don't. Or you guys understand things that I probably don't and you can explain them to me. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.